from tragedy to triumph is how he describes his journey through multiple opioid overdoses. And that's also the name of his podcast that led him to hear stories of other countless addicts. He says they all have one thing in common that they want to get better and they want to give back just like he does. It's kind of hard for me to like to rewind the clock and look at that some sometimes. This was Aaron Lane less than 24 hours after a fentanyl overdose six years ago that would change his life. I didn't get sober that day, but if I would have died in that Kroger parking lot, I wouldn't be here today. 11 treatment centers later, he is now helping others struggling with addiction. Here at Coach Rehabilitation Center in Westwood, he's a part of the only team in the tri-state that meets addicts where they are the streets. We're not here to judge people on the decisions that they've made, but to here to be a neighbor and saying, you know what, if this was my son, my daughter, would, and this was happening, would I do anything to save their lives? Lane says Overdose Awareness Day is about bringing the community together to show that people are in fact changing while acknowledging those that were lost. Something he says has been swept under the rug. If we can address those things now and open up the lines of communication for people who have been through it, then we can help that person not go through what we did. Addressing the fact that knowing how to save someone's life is just as equally important. Any family and every family should have them. Regardless if you think there's a drug problem in your house or if you're out at a soccer game, these things do happen. Of the more than two dozen bars in Over the Rhine, Somerset OTR is the only one that carries Narcan. Lane says that needs to change, especially with school in session. Even if you're experimenting or you think you're just partying, there's cross-contamination, there are black market pills that are not what you think they are. That's a scary place to be. Also coming up in September, Lane says there will be a recovery to a cover out loud festival. All the vendors will be run by people in recovery, along with food, games and live music, showing that there is life after recovery. Lacey Roberts, WWT News 5.